I just finished my first attempt at the Perindev Magnet Motor, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty pleased with the results, especially uh, due to the fact that it's such a crappy job of putting them together. Um, made it out of plywood, nuts and bolts. Um, I've got magnets that I've used. Oh man, this right here, teeny tiny, quarter inch, quarter inch diameter, half inch uh, length, neodymium magnets. There's about seven, eight pounds of pressure on these little suckers. Um, so I just loaded up the wheels. Uh, every 10 degrees, 36 magnets in each wheel, 36 magnets in each stator. And um, <coughs> slap three of them together, offset them. Um, I don't know what degrees I offset them. I just staggered them so that they were staggered evenly. Um, and it, it kind of works. The, uh, it doesn't work by itself. Obviously, it's sitting here lined up and it's not spinning. But it, it helps. It is, it'll, it'll assist. It, it doesn't take hardly anything once it's moving like this. It doesn't take hardly any pressure to uh, keep it spinning. Now, well, what good is this? Obviously, uh, it, it's not gonna it's not gonna create uh, energy and power by itself if it won't spin by itself. But I don't need it to spin by itself. I just need it to assist. Or let's say a smaller motor uh, that can then therefore turn uh, a larger generator head. Uh, so we're making it over a Unity device and not necessarily a, a totally um, free energy device, but yet, but yet it, it's still, I mean, it's still free energy because it's over Unity and you're making more than you're, uh, you're making more energy than you're, than you're using. So um, I'm going to show you what I've done is I've attached a teeny tiny little fan motor that I had right there. Um, I think that thing pulls like 60, 65 watts, okay? It's a, it's a little fan motor. Took it off the fan, slapped it on the end of my axle, and I'm going to show you what kind of results I can get out of this thing with just that. Let me set this back down. <clears throat> and we go, we good, we good. Can you see that? Zoom in a little bit. Alright, hang tight. Plug it in. <clears throat> Gotta get it going by hand because obviously there's not enough torque in that tiny fan to get this thing going by itself. So, get it spinning a little bit. Flip it on. Give it another little, little helper outer. All right, I want you to, you see that thing's moving pretty good. <clears throat> I'm gonna be quiet for a second and listen, you can hear it speeding up. So you can see, you can see a little bit of the wobble in the uh, in the wheels. Like I said, it's not. We're not talking about precision equipment here, folks. We're talking about plywood, a couple of nuts and bolts. I'll show you what I I did it all right here with this little pile of tools, table saw, okay, drill, sander. Sawzall, jigsaw, drill bits. All right. Now, my my rotors and my stators they don't line up perfectly. My reveal gap between the two is huge. Uh, let's not get focus here. I mean, I've got a half inch there. You know, 
Like that could be so much closer if it was more, you know, if it was more precise. But I've got to leave uh, leave room to compensate for that, you know, for the wobble and the and the and the, and the rotors. But so many more things that I could that I learned along the way that I that I'm going to change on the next one. That's going to allow me to get this much more precise and accurate, and, and get more efficiency out of it. But you see that little tiny fan motor has this setup moving. Now I was trying to count the best I could. Probably getting about six to seven rotations every second, which means 30. Uh, I mean, 360, uh, 420 RPM, something around there, with just that teeny tiny motor on there. Okay. So what I've done is I've ordered a three-quarter horsepower electric motor. It draws 900 watts. Um, it spins at 3,600 RPM, which is the RPM needed to get maximum wattage out of your generator head. I've got my generator head right there. 5500 5500 watt generator head. And I'm gonna hook those two up and uh, draw 900, produce 5500, and um, pump the other 4600 watts back into my house. And um, hopefully drastically decrease or totally eliminate my uh, electric bill. And um, once I once I get it working. I'm going to uh, try to start building these and selling these until the the man comes and shuts me down. So <clears throat> you've seen it. You see what it can do. I told you what I'm going to do, and I'll give, make some more videos and update you as I uh, as I, when I get the get the new motor and stuff like that in. And uh, if I uh, if I disappear, you know what happened. See you later.